Hello. In this work, you'll determine the concentration of a solution using the Abe refractometer. Let's start by introducing some useful theoretical notions. Light travels in different mediums at different speeds. Thus, for a given wavelength, we can characterize any optical medium with a physical quantity called refractive index, which is equal to the ratio of the speed of light in vacuum to the speed of light in that medium. This index value is always greater than 1, since the speed of light in vacuum is the maximum possible speed. Apart from the light's wavelength, the refractive index of solutions depend on their concentration and temperature. At the separation interface between two transparent mediums with different values of refractive indices, reflection and refraction phenomena occur. Reflection involves the returning of the ray in the incident medium. Refraction consists in the propagation of the ray in the second medium, usually accompanied by a change in the propagation direction. If the second medium has a greater refractive index than the incident medium, the refracted ray will approach to the normal drone at the separation surface. Otherwise, the refracted ray will travel farther away from the normal. When a light beam falls on the separation surface of two different optical mediums, partially will reflect while the rest will refract. In the special case when the light comes from a more optically dense medium and when the incidence angle is greater than a limit angle, the phenomenon of total reflection occurs. In this case, the light totally returns in the incident medium. Total reflection phenomenon is the underlying principle in the optical fibers. These allow the transport of light on long distances with minimum intensity losses. The light is guided along the core of the optical fiber to repeated total reflections. In medicine, optical fiber arrays are used to build endoscope tubes. The endoscopes allow for the non-invasive exploration of some internal organs. In addition, since the refractive index of a solution depends on its composition, the concentration of solutions can be determined using refractometric methods. In this practical work, you will measure the refractive indices of some solutions using the Abe refractometer. Then, using the measured values for solutions of known concentration, you will determine the unknown concentration of another solution. To this end, you will use an Abe refractometer, seven aqueous ethanol solutions of different concentrations, distilled water, rubbing alcohol, a Berzelius glass, a pipette, and paper tissues. For starting, check the calibration of the refractometer. For this, use distilled water, since its refractive index value is known. Rotate the refractometer from the reading position to the upside-down position. Open the screw and separate the surfaces of the two prisms. Clean the two surfaces with rubbing alcohol. Add several water drops on the illumination prism. Rotate the second prism back over the first and lock it in place with the screw. Turn back the refractometer to the reading position. While looking through the reading eyepiece, rotate the big thumb wheel until reaching the end of the scale. Look through the measurement field viewer. Adjust the position of the mirror until the measurement field becomes as bright as possible. Then, while keep looking through the same eyepiece, rotate the big thumb wheel to bring the delimitation line between dark and light to the intersection of the two perpendicular lines. Attention! 
if the delimiting line between the dark and the bright area is not sharp or it is covered by a band of colors, use the small thumb wheel to correct it. Record the obtained values in the corresponding table of your book. If the measured refractive index of distilled water is very close to the value 1.333, you can conclude that the refractometer is calibrated and can be used for further determinations. Look through the reading eyepiece and read the refractive index three times. Rotate the refractometer in the upside-down position, separate the two prisms, and clean their surfaces with alcohol. Use the previously presented steps and measure the refractive indices for all the studied solutions. Record all determined values in the table of your book. For each solution, Calculate the mean value of refractive index and the associated standard error. Using millimeter paper, plot the mean values of refractive index as a function of concentration. Finally, by linear interpolation, determine the unknown concentration of the studied solution.